He's my uh, he's my next buddy. We go to watch them lose at least like you know twice a month. He's just such a good dude, and uh, you know he's just like a comic icon. So like, never would I think in a million years I'd be homies with him. You know, it's cool. We met like maybe four years ago when he was touring with Chappelle, and I would come and you know bomb and open for them, and we exchanged numbers, and he always looks out for me. I think people know how good of a guy he is. I've been at the Garden tons of times. I've never seen a reaction bigger than when they throw Jon Stewart up on the screen. It's like, Nas, Jay-Z, this guy, that guy, you know, big. Jon Stewart goes up there, it's like, everybody loses their mind. And I think that speaks true to the, the person he is. Let me just say how amazing it is to be here tonight honoring Jon Stewart in front of the largest audience he's had in years. <laughs> I, uh, I can't believe I'm here. Like, look at all these respected giants of political satire and Ed Helms. Uh, <laughs> John is the voice of reason for a generation, and I'm the reason you stop watching SNL. <laughs> I think the only thing we all have in common is we all keep losing Emmys to last week tonight. And don't worry, Trevor, John can explain what an Emmy is after the show. <laughs> Come on. It's not the Oscars. Uh, oh, all right. There you go. There you go. Thank you. The, uh, the reason we're all here to honor Jon Stewart is because he's just so universally respected. I mean, like, who couldn't love this guy? Seriously, I mean, the most controversial thing he's ever done is, like, be friends with me. <laughs> And, th and that really means a lot to me, John, because like I have other famous friends, but they're like kind of in the closet about our friendship. <laughs> I'm kind of like Hollywood side chick. <laughs> and that's why I love John, because John isn't afraid to <laughs> me in public. <laughs> John is loyal. You know, friendship isn't something he half is <laughs> like acting. <laughs> You know, or gives up on quickly, like directing. I, I'm sorry, what? It is really crazy to me, though, that he's my buddy. Like, I, I seriously don't know if we're really friends or this is like a make a wish type thing. You know? Like, are you like my boy or just like kind of concerned? Uh, John is uh, really such an exceptional person that, you know, he really could be president tomorrow and he's smart enough to not want the job. <laughs> Seriously, but he is a leader. Um, in 2019, he testified uh, before Congress about our government's shameful lack of health care for the men and women who responded to the events of September 11th. Yeah, you know, people like my dad who ran into the towers that day, but instead of, you know, giving their lives in a moment, they walked away with a lifetime of illness and pain. And John sat there with those responders behind him and Congress before him and gave the least funny speech he's ever made. They did their jobs with courage, grace, tenacity, humility. 18 years later, do yours. He got them to reauthorize the 9-11 victim compensation bill. And um, I know if, if my dad were here, well, let's face it, I'd be working at a Denny somewhere, but if, if he was, I know he'd be happy that you're looking out for him and his friends after all these years, so thank you. Um, yeah, John Stewart is, is a hero and a true man of the people, and I, I'm so blessed and lucky to be able to call him my friend, and I appreciate you as much as whoever this <laughs> Mark Twain guy is. Uh, Thank you very much. I love you so much, John. Thank Thanks you. for having me. That was fun. That was fun.